Hey guys, Lamar here. If you own a Volkswagen Beetle, and most likely you do because you're watching these videos, you have a nut, like me, that is stripped, rusted, or even maybe has a bolt broken off in it. Somewhere along the lines of uh, where the fenders bolt up right here, down through there, along the outside of your heater channel, or even on the back where the fenders bolt up. If you have a nut problem, which maybe you do or don't, see your doctor. No, just kidding. Stay tuned for a tech tip. Okay, guys, I'm back. Today's tech tip is stripped out nuts, rusted up nuts, or a broken off bolt in a nut that you can't use. Okay, if you go to your local Lowe's or Home Depot, not sponsored by Lowe's or Home Depot, but if you do, you can find these insert nuts. Get a good look at that. It is a insert T nut. That's what these things are called. This is designed to use with wood, okay? So you drill your hole, your pilot hole in the wood. You insert that into the hole. These little teeth that's on this thing, what they do, they dig into the wood to keep it from spinning around, and then you bring your bolt in from the back side. Well, I have a bunch of these here because I like doing some woodworking and stuff, but I'm going to tell you what I've done with them. <clears throat> I've taken some of them and I have flattened them out to a flat spot. I've taken the, the little teeth and I have bent them, okay? Now, somewhere along the lines of all the welding, cutting, and grinding, for example, right here on the back of the car, this brace that goes from one side to the other, uh, I have welded up or cut up or something, all the little nut, the, the, the little bolts that, uh, the, the nuts that go in this spot right here. So I have flattened this out. And what I'm gonna tell you you need to do is grind this off to a good shiny finish. Take this and drop it right into there. And it sits flush. Do the same thing on the other side. It fits flush. Then your bracket, after you weld it in, will fit in just fine. Okay, guys, also on the heater channel, starting back here in the very back, uh, you can see that one has a, a much larger hole. Uh, about every 16 inches you have another hole and another hole there and another one on up there and what that does that holds on your running boards after everything's complete now if you'll notice inside here uh, I forget the proper name for these but this this nut is actually welded on to the inside of the heater channel before they wel weld on the bottom piece of the heater channel so what you're going to have to do is get you a drill bit uh, I don't know, it's probably a 5 16th or so, something like that, I can't remember, I mic'd it out. Uh, but you drill that out, and you just drill right into the nut that's already in place, and then you take your flattened out uh, T nut that I was showing you all ago, and you just insert that right into that hole uh, after you clean, clean it all up and get it down to your bare metal. And then put that into the hole, and then once you do that, you just weld it into place. Now listen guys, these things, are American standard threads that I have here. So, you know, it may bother you that that's a quarter inch and then the rest of them are all metric. Well, you know what? Uh, you can either use a quarter inch on the back or you can tape it and take it and run you a tap into it and change it over to metric to match the other ones. You know, uh, it's just whatever you think that you want to do. But anyway, just get that in and uh, it'll fit right up real flush. It's only real thin. It's not much thinner than the sheet metal that's on there. So just remember guys, uh, if you're working on the old bug and you come across a nut that's all rusted up, broke or stripped out, just remember, don't let your nuts be a problem. See a doctor. Or you can use today's tech tip. Bug out guys.